Lesson eight, act with integrity. Once you have clearly declared yourself, act with integrity. Do what you say you're going to do and do it well. Honor your commitments. Ultimately, this whole exercise is about behavior and performance, not intentions. I have a favorite saying, you can't talk your way out of something you behaved your way into. You simply have to behave your way out of it. To be an effective contributor, there must be quality alignment between your words and your deeds. In my opinion, you really have no choice. Once you start down this road, there is no turning back. You will either become known as someone who does what they say they are going to do or someone who does not. In that sense, this lesson is very much about consistency. Now, does this mean you can't or won't make mistakes? Of course not. We all make mistakes, but they need to be acknowledged and addressed in a genuine and integrity-laden way. My favorite example of mistake management comes from another one of my mentors, Mr. R.T. Johnstone. R.T. was my wife's grandfather, and he ran the Detroit office of Marsha McLennan, a huge global insurance company. R.T. came from very humble beginnings in rural Wisconsin. As a young emerging executive in 1939, he had the opportunity very early in his career to privately present the new concept of corporate group insurance to Mr. Edsel Ford, the president and CEO of the Ford Motor Company and the son of the founder of the company, Mr. Henry Ford. As you can imagine, it was the sales opportunity of a lifetime. In that first meeting, Mr. Ford liked what he heard so much that he said, I'll take it and on a handshake, the deal was done. RT had just sold the entire Ford Motor Company, its first group insurance contract, for $150 million in 1939 dollars. And in one meeting, his career was virtually set for life. Understandably, he was on cloud nine. He went back to the office to put the paperwork together to finalize the deal. As he did so, he was suddenly hit with this sinking feeling. In the euphoria of closing the biggest deal of his life, in his late 20s, he had made a simple mistake in the math to Ford's detriment. What to do? He had virtually closed the deal. His career was set. Why risk another meeting with Mr. Ford? Well, as you probably suspect, RT returned to Mr. Ford's office the next day with the proper math closed the deal, and left the office with Mr. Ford's support and loyalty for life. The examples are endless and hopefully the message is clear. We all make mistakes. It's how we deal with them that defines our legacy of contribution. Deal with them swiftly, genuinely, and thoughtfully and move on.